On March 9, 2022, a remarkable discovery was made at the bottom of Antarctica's Weddell Sea. A team of scientists and adventurers had finally located what remained of the Endurance, a legendary wooden ship that had been lost for over a century. Using state-of-the-art submersibles and undersea drones, the team captured breathtaking photos of the long-lost vessel. Resting nearly 10,000 feet deep in the clear and icy waters, the Endurance revealed itself in all its glory. The Endurance had embarked on its ill-fated journey on December 5, 1914, departing from South Georgia. On board were 27 men, 69 dogs, and even a stowaway who became the ship's steward. Led by expedition leader Shackleton, their goal was to establish a base on Antarctica's Weddell Sea coast. Shackleton's ultimate plan was to cross the entire continent, reaching the Ross Sea south of New Zealand. Along the way, another group would lay depots of food and fuel to support their journey. However, just two days after leaving South Georgia, the Endurance encountered the formidable pack ice that surrounds Antarctica. For weeks, the ship navigated through narrow leads in the ice, inching its way south. But on January 18, a powerful northerly gale trapped the Endurance, squeezing the ice floes tightly together. The ship was stuck, unable to move forward or backward. As crew member Thomas Ordlees described it, the Endurance was frozen like an almond in the middle of a chocolate bar. Despite being within a day's sail of their intended landing place, the drifting ice slowly pushed the Endurance farther away with each passing day. The crew had no choice but to establish a routine and wait out the harsh Antarctic winter. In the time that passed between abandoning the Endurance and watching the ice swallow it up completely, the crew of the ill-fated expedition faced a desperate struggle for survival. They salvaged as many provisions as they could, knowing that every resource was precious. But they had to make difficult choices, sacrificing anything that added weight or consumed valuable resources. Bibles, books, clothing, tools, and keepsakes were left behind, as the crew focused on essentials for their survival. Even some of the younger dogs, too small to pull their weight, were shot. And to the chagrin of many, even the unfortunate Mrs. Chippy met the same fate. The initial plan was to march across the ice towards land, but it quickly became clear that it was an impossible task. In seven days, they managed to cover only seven and a half miles. There was no alternative, wrote Shackleton, but to camp once more on the flow and to possess our souls with what patience we could. Slowly and steadily, the ice drifted farther to the north, as the crew waited for a chance to escape their icy prison. And then, on April 7, 1916, a glimmer of hope appeared. The snow-capped peaks of Clarence and Elephant Islands came into view, filling them with renewed determination. In the vast expanse of the Antarctic, Sir Ernest Shackleton and his crew embarked on a treacherous journey. They had relied on the floe, a frozen platform of ice, for months. But as Shackleton noted in his diary, their faithful companion was nearing its end. On that fateful day, April 9th, the ice beneath them gave way with a thunderous crack. Shackleton knew it was time to leave their temporary home behind. With great determination, Shackleton gave the order to break camp and launch the boats. The crew worked swiftly, knowing that their survival depended on it. As they ventured into the open ocean, a new adversary emerged, the relentless power of the sea. The crew faced freezing spray, frigid waters, and the constant battering of their boats. The open ocean tested their resilience, pushing them to their limits. Seasickness and exhaustion threatened to break their spirits, but they remained steadfast in their pursuit of survival. Shackleton's unwavering leadership and the crew's unwavering determination carried them through the darkest moments. They refused to succumb to the challenges that lay before them. In the face of adversity, they pressed on, rowing towards the unknown. Their journey was far from over, but they had conquered the ice, and now, they would conquer the open ocean. It was a moment of relief, yet their journey was far from over. After 497 days at sea, the crew led by Ernest Shackleton had finally set foot on dry land since leaving South Georgia. But their ordeal had only just begun. After nine days of rest and preparation, Shackleton, Worsley, and four others embarked on a daring mission. Their destination? A whaling station on South Georgia, over 800 miles away. For 16 days, they battled monstrous swells and angry winds, 
fighting to keep their small boat afloat. Every surge of the sea was an enemy to be conquered, as they bailed water and fought against the freezing cold. Even as they neared their goal, the elements unleashed their fury. The wind howled, tearing the tops off the waves, testing their resolve. But they pressed on, their determination unwavering. Finally, the wind eased off, and they made it ashore. Help was within reach, or so they thought. The storms had pushed them off course, and they found themselves on the wrong side of the island, far from the whaling station. Undeterred, Shackleton, Worsley, and Tom Crean set off on foot, facing a new set of challenges. They climbed mountains, traversed glaciers, and forged a path that no one had ever taken before. After 36 hours of desperate hiking, they finally arrived at the whaling station at Stromness. Three strangers, appearing from the mountains, their appearance a testament to the hardships they had endured. Picture this, a desolate whaling station, isolated from civilization, surrounded by vast oceans and towering mountains. It was a place where the unexpected was simply unimaginable. Yet, against all odds, three strangers emerged from the depths of the unknown. Their hair and beards were tangled and matted, evidence of their arduous journey. Their faces, marked by soot from blubber stoves, told a story of hardship endured for nearly two long years. The whaling station workers, already burdened by the challenges of their own lives, were taken aback by the sudden arrival of these enigmatic figures. Questions filled the air, but answers were scarce. Who were these individuals? What had brought them to this remote outpost? The mysteries surrounding their arrival only deepened as they shared their tale. They spoke of a treacherous journey, battling the unforgiving elements, and enduring unimaginable stress and privation. Their resilience and determination had carried them through the harshest of circumstances. As their story unfolded, the whaling station workers couldn't help but be captivated by the sheer audacity of their survival. It was a testament to the indomitable spirit of the human soul. Once the other three members of the James Caird had been retrieved, attention turned to rescuing the 22 men remaining on Elephant Island. However, this final task proved to be the most challenging and time-consuming of all. The first ship Shackleton set out on ran dangerously low on fuel while trying to navigate the treacherous pack ice. It was forced to turn back to the Falkland Islands, leaving the men on Elephant Island still stranded. The government of Uruguay offered a vessel that came within 100 miles of Elephant Island, but it too was beaten back by the relentless ice. Each morning on Elephant Island, Frank Wilde, whom Shackleton had left in charge, would call for everyone to prepare for the possible arrival of their rescue. But as the days went by, hope began to fade. Some of the men grew dispirited and doubtful, believing that the relief ship would never come. They had given up hope. However, Shackleton's determination prevailed. He managed to procure a third ship, the Yelcho, from Chile. Finally, on August 30, 1916, after 128 days since the James Caird had left, the Yelcho appeared off the coast of Elephant Island. The men on the island, in the midst of their lunch, spotted the Yelcho and wasted no time. Within an hour, they had broken camp and left Elephant Island behind. Twenty months after setting out for the Antarctic, every one of the Endurance crew was alive and safe, thanks to the unwavering determination of Sir Ernest Shackleton. In the annals of polar exploration, Sir Ernest Shackleton's ill-fated Imperial Trans-Antarctic expedition is legendary. While Shackleton and his crew miraculously made it back to England, their ship, the Endurance, did not. For over a century, the fate of the Endurance remained a mystery, lost to the depths of the Weddell Sea. But in 2022, a team of marine archaeologists, explorers, and scientists embarked on a groundbreaking mission to find this elusive shipwreck. Led by John Shears, the Endurance 22 expedition team utilized state-of-the-art submersibles and drones to scour the icy depths in search of the Endurance. John Shears said, We have made polar history with the discovery of Endurance, and successfully completed the world's most challenging shipwreck search. After an arduous search, the team's efforts paid off. The Endurance was located at the bottom of the Weddell Sea, approximately four miles south of its original recorded position. Photos released from the expedition revealed the sunken ship in mesmerizing detail. One image showcased the ship's stern, where the name Endurance was still visible above a five-pointed star.
the preservation of the endurance is truly remarkable. It provides us with invaluable insights into the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. Ernest Shackleton, a renowned explorer, had already faced numerous challenges in his previous expeditions. However, as he prepared for his last voyage, something had changed. The endurance veterans who had once witnessed his unwavering determination now noticed a different man. Weaker, more diffident, and drained of the spirit that had kept them alive, Shackleton embarked on his final expedition to the Antarctic. But fate had a different plan in store for him. On January 5, 1922, with the ship anchored at South Georgia, Shackleton suffered a heart attack in his bunk and passed away. He was just 47 years old. With Shackleton's untimely demise, his trusted companion, Frank Wilde, took charge of the ship and set a course for Antarctica. But the vessel proved unequal to the task, and after a month of futile attempts to penetrate the icy pack, they redirected their course towards Elephant Island. From the safety of the ship's deck, they gazed upon the beach where they had once lived in fear and hope. Memories flooded their minds, and emotions ran deep. As one of the crew members, Macklin, wrote in his journal, once more I see the old faces and hear the old voices, old friends scattered everywhere. But to express all I feel is impossible. And with heavy hearts, they turned their ship north for the final time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.